Hi there folks, I, the little Chinese Stirling engine, the displacer tube has cracked on it and is now not airtight so I ordered up a few of these here, I got 15 of these off eBay for £4 all in, in fact there actually was 16 in it so the guy had included an extra one in case there was a breakage uh, and I've wrapped a electrical tape around the test tube and I'm going to just mount it in the jaws of the vise or the lathe so that you can just get a grip on it no more you can see I've already marked where I want to cut that and I'll be using a diamond file to cut that off so when I get everything ready I'll set the camera up and we'll see it cutting. Okay I have the test tube held into the jaws of the chuck and I'm using a three sided diamond file and you have to use these wet when or for everything really uh, so I'm making sure it's quite wet and I'm going to add some water onto this as well just to make sure that it's really soaking and I have kitchen paper on the lathe bed because I don't want powdered glass getting onto that and hopefully I should be able to do this without jiggling the camera so here goes and there we go there's the piece cut now there's a little bit needs to be cleaned up but I'll probably put that into the chuck and just give it a little bit of a touch up. Okay, so I have uh, trimmed up the end. I didn't really need anything more than just a little touch with the the file. Uh, and I've reassembled it. And now just, let's see if it runs. So here goes. Give it about... 10 seconds or so to warm up and it should hopefully run and there we go it's an absolutely brilliant little engine this has outperformed any of the other ones I have in fact the other ones are in need of replacement tubes too and I haven't got around to that yet I think it could actually do with a bit of a heavier base. Okay, so that's it. Fixed again. So, bye for now.